It's video time. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I do appreciate it. Today's Huge Fly Fisherman video is about how to make fish bite. This is an important one if you wanna actually catch fish while you're fishing. You might not know this, but if the fish aren't biting for you, there are things you can do to make them eat your fly. We're gonna have a little fun with this video and then we'll get serious at the end. All right, you got your beer or your non-adult beverage ready to go? Let's do this. There are a ton of ways to make fish bite on a slow day. Most of these I've just discovered by accident over time. If you have some of your own suggestions, leave them in the comments for everyone to see. All right, first, well, tell the fish that you're leaving. Okay, it's time to leave. Guess we're going home now. Boom, you're hooked up right away. All right, second way to make fish bite. This one is foolproof. If you're bobber fishing, just look away from your bobber. Ah, oh, check out that bird. Oh, look, a bald-headed eagle. Ah, oh, I think the fish are rising over there. Is that a guy in a banana suit? Just look away from your indicator. It works every time. All right, the next way to make fish bite. Pee with your rod in your hand. The rod might be in your hand, but the fish know that you're distracted. If you gotta take a whiz, just go to the bank or put your rod away, unless you want a fish to bite. Another way you can make fish bite is to be the noob with a bunch of fly fishing bros. Beginner's luck is real. Are your pals huge fly fishermen? Maybe they're into hucking the meat. Don't be intimidated by those losers. Get out there and fish circles around them. Another great way you can make fish bite when it's slow is to do everything wrong. This only works if you're a client and your guide is telling you what to do. I can't tell you how many times when I was guiding, the client was doing the opposite of what I told them to do and they caught a fish. Maybe that just speaks to my guiding abilities more than anything. Another way you can make fish bite is to talk to them. Say, here fishy fishy. <coughs> Fishy, fishy, fishy! That actually works. And another way you can make fish bite is by fishing with a broken hook. How many times have you been fishing and you're getting the bites, you're getting eat after eat, but you can't hook any of them? And then you check your hook and it's broken. I'll oh, just fish with a broken hook. You'll get all the bites. Or you'll learn to check your hook point every now and then. Well, well, well. Look at that, I've been fishing with a broken hook. Okay, seriously though, all that stuff does work to make fish bite, but I'll give you some more uh, practical tips as well. First of all, if whatever you're doing isn't working, do something else. Fish faster water, fish slower water, fish deeper water, fish shallower water. Just do something different. Another thing you can do is move. I see a lot of people park on fish because they can see them and they want to catch that fish. I don't like to do that. I'd rather go and find a different fish that wants to eat what I'm throwing at it. You could change flies, of course. Generally, you would want to try a smaller fly or a different color, but you can go wacky. You can get dirty. I've never thrown a mop fly, but that doesn't mean that you can't. I have thrown a squirmy, but I didn't catch anything on it, so I'm still pure. Maybe you need to learn how to feed the fish better. Perhaps you've heard that term and don't know what it means. I'm not talking about goldfish flakes. I'm talking about reading the fish's behavior and reacting to it, watching what the fish is doing and presenting your fly in an appropriate way. That could mean a lot of different things. It's probably a topic for a video by itself, but if you're sight fishing and you can see the fish, watch it and see what it's doing and react to it. And then stab him in the face. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Now you know everything you need to know to go out and catch fish when it's difficult. Seriously, that's everything you need to know. Thanks again for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back next Monday like I am every Monday with another video. Until then, catch them up and stay huge. Fly fishing, huh? I've always wanted to try that.